Hey, peace, power, and protection, beautiful people. Welcome to Claire Audience Truth Speaker. I go by the name of Q. Thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. We're going to delve in to your energy, Scorpio. See what we got coming in, what's going on, what's going on with you, beloveds. I will, you all are enjoying this full moon energy, this Aries energy. Uh, definitely enjoying your Saturn's day, your strong ends. Uh, today was a beautiful day. I just kicked it with the babies. I watched some John Wick number four, the fourth one. It was pretty good. It was good. It was really good. I liked it. Um, you know, just kind of having a, 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 a quiet day with the family. You know, um, like I said, I've been out of the out of equilibrium for a couple of weeks. So now I'm just getting back into my groove. Um, definitely get my taste buds back. Had a nice little meal today. So yeah, feeling good. Um, I will, each and every one of you beautiful souls are feeling grounded, balanced, and in alignment, beloveds. Everything is everything on my side of the planet. Without further ado, we're going to delve into your reading, see what we got coming and going out, going on, as I said. But before we do, let's do some house cleaning, beloveds, shall we? I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, Mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, Baba Ogun, to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards, help me to pick up on the energy, number synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is, so mote it be. Ashe, 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 yo, beautiful souls. So let's see what time we have on the Klizop. It is currently 8.22. So that breaks down to 12. So 12 breaks down to three, but 12 is associated with the hangman. So, so perhaps some of you all could be in a status where you are looking at things from a different perspective, or you're looking at things from a different scope, or you're analyzing something, reevaluating something. Perhaps someone is doing that to you. Maybe there is this position that you're in where you are trying to dot your I's, cross your T's. You're trying to make sure you make a right decision. Perhaps spirit has humbled some of you all, or maybe spirit put you in a position to kind of take pause so that you can, you know, plan, prepare, strategize uh, to make your next move your best move so to speak um that 12 as i said breaks down to three so that does show that you know there will be this level up like you know once you analyze because that's the that's the, really the the appropriate way to approach anything is you want to take a moment to assess it you know you don't want to just jump right in and dive in and kind of do it on the fly you kind of want to you know, kind of analyze, scope things out, kind of get a feel for it, see how to approach it, plan it, prepare it. It's almost like a game of chess. You don't just start moving pieces on the board. You kind of have to anticipate what your opponent is going to do before you take, you know, action. So you got to be thinking two, three, four, five steps ahead of the game in order to win the game. So perhaps that's what you're doing in that hangman status. Um, like I said, that breaks down to three and the three deals with the solar plexus. So this is about asserting yourself, being confident in the position that you take and the role that you um, are taking on. Um, it also is speaking to your courage, your strength, your wise dome, um, healing from past wounds, learning to trust your intuition, that inner gumption. Uh, the three is associated with the empress. We did have a reading that um, the number three came out and there was a lot of energy just speaking to vitality and strength and, and just really leaning in your strength and owning more importantly your power. So perhaps that's where you all are. Um, for any of you that may be new, let me just give you the spiel. My spiel is eat the fish, spit up the bones, meaning if the reading doesn't apply, just let it go, let it flow, let it fly by. Never try to force anything to be your story. I am 
I'm also a timeless reader, so whenever the videos that I do pop up in your feed, that was divine timing and divine order that you've done so. Um, I am also an empath, I'm intuitive, and I am clear audience. So during my readings, I do play music, and the way that it works, the name of the song, lyrics within the song, name of the artist, maybe even the timestamp, it will all correlate to what I may be channeling intuitively, as well as what the cards show. And everything just blends beautifully. So, you know, just, just a little, you know, just a little uh, disclaimer, if you will. So, like I said, we started off the reading with 12. So that could be an energy of, you know, maybe you're observing things from a different perspective, or perhaps someone is observing you getting a different perspective, or maybe, you know, seeing something that they didn't see before, seeing something that they never, you know, that they overlooked. We have, um, I like the way uh, the kissing game playing by High Five. So high five, um, high five is telling me like, that's like, that's almost like a celebratory shake. When you give, give someone, that's like a greeting. Also, um, you give someone a high five. It's like, yo, my man, my, you know, what's up girl, you know, whatever. So it's like, that could be a greeting. Um, but also with, you know, I like the way the kissing game, I'm, I'm also getting a sense of like, maybe, as I said, with that 12, somebody seeing you in a different light, you know, maybe somebody overlooked you. Maybe someone didn't see something that they're now noticing, you know, maybe there's certain characteristics or qualities um, that you may possess that they didn't realize you had and it's probably because they didn't really take the time to observe you know and now they're being forced to or now they're taking more time to see things um, you know and it's it, they're seeing things differently now you know uh, perhaps they're seeing you as someone that is you know in empress status or empress status someone that's very you know self-respecting powerful um, you know your worth your your leader you're a boss you're strong you're determined um, just attractive in all rights you know you could be very um, independent you could be very strong you could be a nurturer or someone who's very um, devoted in what you do you could be as I said like a boss a leader uh, maybe you have your own thing going on you could be single and and, and really out here making some power moves. But it's like you're seen in a whole new light and someone could be trying to figure out how to approach you because uh, I do get like, you know, someone pr planning and preparing, strategizing because I'm also seeing like the three of wands where someone is kind of like trying to manifest something, but they're trying to take the right course of action. So that's what I'm getting just intuitively. Let's see what the cards have to say, beloved. I'm going to start off with the numerology deck as per use. So someone likes the way, so perhaps you may find yourself, um, you know, you know, engaging in some sort of passionate kiss with someone, you know, with this kissing game song playing, uh, perhaps someone that is going to kiss you is going, it's going to be very passionate. It's going to be like the best kiss you ever had. You're going to get lost in this person's eyes. It's just going to, I just feel passion. You know, um, we have the number 78, uh, spiritual career here on the bottom of the deck. So for many of you, you will be pursuing um, your, you know, your goals or pursuing your dreams, or you will be, you know, embarking on something new. This has a lot to do with, I feel, you know, your spiritual gifts. Perhaps you've been honing those gifts with high five. Five is the number of the hierophant. It's also the number of the throat chakra. So that could be speaking to, pardon me if I hit the microphone, that could be speaking to your creative or artistic gifts um, that you will be pursuing a spiritual career, uh, utilizing those skills and gifts. You know, you could be aligning with your purpose, aligning with, you know, your passions, aligning with, you know, um, you know, even your spirituality. But there's something here that I feel uh, you are trusting your intuition. You are uh, moving in a direction where it is going to lead to stability and security. It's going to lead to some sort of victory or a major breakthrough as well. I feel you're going to get a lot of recognition. There's going to be a lot of rewards um, that you will also be receiving uh, doing this particular, um, you know, utilizing this particular gift or this particular skill set, I feel you will be in the spotlight or you will get the recognition that you deserve. Uh, cause I'm seeing like the six of wands, this breaks down to 78, 15, uh, you know, and, um, this could be also in relation to work, perhaps, you know, something that you do, you may be working in a field that where it's your calling, like you were hired for that position 
And, you know, they say promotion doesn't come, you know, from anyone other than the most high, you know, universe sees fit to place you where you are meant to be. Uh, so perhaps you are working in a field that was, you know, a part of your calling, you know, because you're helping to, to heal others or you're helping to service others. Um, you're being a beacon of light of sorts to others. And, you know, this is going to lead to a very uh, successful, expansive um, spiritual career. What we have on the split is the number nine compa uh, com completion, pardon me. So there's something wrapping up, which is beautiful. Um, that's why I see victories, because you are wrapping up a cycle. Uh, perhaps that moment of pause, that moment of reflection is wrapping up, and now someone is taking action. Now someone is taking the uh, initiative to be assertive, to go after whatever it is or what they want, perhaps to pursue that spiritual career. Uh, this number nine is like the hangman, I mean the um, hermit. And the hangman and the hermit kind of both, you know, unplug and detach from the outside world uh, to gain a different perspective. The hermit knows the answers he seeks or she seeks are found within. So he detaches and unplugs from, you know, all of that external noise so as to hear or consult with his higher self or her higher self to consult with that Christ consciousness, tap into that, that God frequency. And that's where the answers come. So this number 78, 15, that six, that's where, you know, trusting the gumption, that intuition, or just trusting, um, and using discernment. That's where that comes in because there is a cycle of like, you know, um, discovery, self-discovery, you know, the hermit is really discovering things, uh, perhaps that may have overlooked in the past or things that, you know, um, that he wasn't aware of in the past and now it's like you see it now for the first time and once you see it you know now you can change some things moving forward because nine is you know the highest number of change as well um so this nine definitely shows that there has been a moment of pause to contemplate to reflect to meditate even you know to just hear your own voice you know to hear your own um hear your own thoughts even so that's powerful so what we have playing right now is we have average white band, and this is called pick up the pieces. So that's exactly what was going on. Someone was looking back in awareness, uh, perhaps, you know, after, you know, some sort of tower moment or some sort of karmic ending, um, you know, you had to pick up the pieces. You had to rebuild. After the tower falls, it's destroyed. And, you know, what's destroyed has to now be, you know, all the debris has to be removed and you have to now rebuild. And this time you're going to make sure to rebuild on a more solid foundation. You're going to make the necessary moderations, you know, so that you can build on a solid foundation. So those moderations aren't just external where you got to pick up the debris, as I said, and rebuild the castle. No, now you have to go within and do that work because, you know, there were a lot of things that you may have um, taken on internally, a lot of pain, a lot of trauma, a lot of stress, a lot of aggravation from said circumstance. So, you know, this is all about healing. This green definitely denotes that there was some emotional healing that was required. And that is ultimately the change. But that also led you to maturing and growing and um, discovering perhaps what your sole purpose, mission, and passion is because that five, as I said, deals with the, you know, the uh, throat chakra, which deals with your communication, uh, expressing yourself communicatively, expressing yourself through your artistry, through your uh, creativity. Uh, so you could have been really, you know, tapping into your, um, you know, your divinity, you know, learning what you are, you know, what you are skilled at or learning what you're passionate about and mastering it, you know, this 14, uh, definitely is indicating that, you know, those are the changes that some of you all have made. Um, I feel some of you also found your voice. I see follow your dreams here also. So definitely whatever skills, gifts, talents you was honing, um, you're now going to, you know, embark upon them, uh, pursue them fearlessly. You're going to put forth the effort to do so. You got that 14 and that 13. So this is definitely showing that's the change, you know, where you could have been a little pessimistic or, you know, maybe you could have been like a Debbie Downer or maybe you was around a bunch of Debbie Downers who didn't really see your vision or really didn't encourage you in a positive way. It's like maybe those were the changes you had to make was just cutting your losses, getting rid of people. That's probably why the tower moment fell because you had to see past the illusions. Uh, perhaps there was a lot of snakes in your grass and you had to cut the grass, um, you know, but there were 
were definitely some things that were debilitating you and it, no no it's like you were still showing up and doing your part so i feel that's the reason why i'm seeing victories and breakthroughs because it's like you were still operating from a place of righteousness a place of hope and optimism you know even if you were feeling defeated it's like you never gave up you stayed to you know you stayed through you know you stayed um encouraged through the turmoil through the the chaos you continue to push through and that's what strength is and that's why i feel like you know there's this energy now where you're surrendering to spirit you're no longer fighting anything it's like perhaps that's what a lot of you were doing was just kind of like you know trying to do things your way and spirit was like look if you let go of the reins i can lead i can show you the path i can show you the direction you need to go in so a couple of cards chose themselves we have 67 physical activity on the bottom of the deck that reduces to 13 13 deals with death so definitely spirit is seeing that you have uh absolutely made it your business to uh make those necessary changes you were the one to initiate the change like you were very proactive in changing and transforming and you know evolving someone stronger or evolving someone that's wiser now um and this has definitely made you uh more attractive because you have gotten rid of a lot of um faulty belief systems behaviors habits um you have gotten rid of things that were not serving your greatest good um what we have playing right now is we have who is this this is um quan oh oh i said quan orange juice jones and this is i saw you and him walking in the rain so with this 67 maybe that's what happened uh maybe some of you all caught someone um in some sort of third party or some triangular situation and that's what led to the death or the demise of a relationship uh because someone wasn't making any efforts with you but was definitely putting forth their effort and showing appreciation and giving time to someone else and maybe you caught them maybe this is a part of what that you know tower moment was where things were you know finally uh coming to a head um but i feel like you definitely uh started to focus on yourself and realize that you had to love yourself um love was an inside job you had to go within to start loving yourself and spirit sees because that 67 breaks down to 13 that's four so perhaps some of you ladies were brokenhearted by a divine masculine or a masculine that you were with or vice versa maybe some of you divine masculines uh definitely experience some sort of loss and some sort of hurt and pain but you have definitely made it your business to heal from said pain from said incident um and you're recovering it's like you're recuperating you're recovering and someone may now feel like you know you're a missed opportunity so let's see what cards came out and chose themselves so we have 19 pride so when everything you know when this is at the 19 that's 10 uh tens are always denoting some sort of ending so perhaps someone is having some sort of epiphany as i said after observation or after analyzing a situation after looking at you from a different perspective after being forced in that sacrificial position to see things from a different scope now someone's getting rid of the ego getting rid of the pride um and they're starting to see things differently you know perhaps they're seeing that maybe they want another start maybe they want another shot maybe they're realizing the passion that they possess this one one is a very felicious number, but it also speaks of new beginnings. Maybe someone wants a new beginning or someone is embarking upon a new beginning after some sort of ending, after having this ego death or after being humbled by a situation. Now they're seeing something very different. The one is also related to the magician. So someone could be now trying to manifest, uh, tapping into their divinity or discovering that they're, you know, they have the ability to set their intention. Um, if they get rid of the pride, the ego, and they really set their intention towards what they want, then they can co-create with source. So maybe someone is finally, you know, realizing the power they possess and they're pursuing whatever it is they want. Um, and that's like, you know, a new beginning, perhaps they're getting out of that ego and they're embarking upon this new beginning. Uh, what you are attracting to you is the number nine completion so someone is wrapping up a cycle this is someone that is going through some sort of change definitely someone who is in isolation or someone who's very protective of their energy or just someone who is just like not um you know really uh being as social someone who could be like a recluse um this isn't a fool this isn't anyone that's foolish this is someone that knows that they have to take some
some time away from the situation, as I said earlier, to kind of analyze, to, to scope things out, um, to do some self-reflection or even to look back in awareness. So this is someone that's really like, you know, protective of their energy. Even I guess someone very protective, very guarded, um, someone who has boundaries, you know, they've established boundaries. And a lot of that is because of past disappointments or, you know, past, you know, deception, um, being deceit, you know, having deceitful, uh, individuals in the circle, um, with this pride, this ego death and, uh, this completion, I feel like that's what's perhaps, um, you know, causing some sort of ending is that they're getting rid of the mask. They're getting rid of some sort of false mask that they were wearing or fake people that they were around or this false, um, you know, identity or this facade that they've been, you know, uh, maneuvering in. It's like now when they get rid of the ego, then the cycle of confusion and chaos and, um, you know, it can, can finally, uh, come to an end. You know, we have 702. Uh, this is called I Still Love You, Rising Power to Irish. She just recently passed away. That was one of the members of the group. Um, with 702, someone could be uh, born in July. Someone could be like a Cancerian energy. The 702 also breaks down to nine. And remember, this nine is also showing completion. So that could be confirming that there is someone um, wrapping up a cycle. You know, the nine is also uh, associated with that nine of um, swords. Uh, so, you know, when anyone is like really proud and egotistical, maybe some of the foolishness that they may have spat out in the past, it could be kind of like stressing them out because, you know, if someone is wanting a new beginning, but then they have to sit and, and think of all the foolish things they may have done in the past, um, you know, it can make you a little uh, hesitant to say what you need to say or to approach a certain person. So perhaps someone's going through that, especially with I still love you. So could this could be someone that definitely was playing a lot of games, especially with the pride and the ego here that I'm picking up on. So someone's ego and pride, you know, maybe someone was definitely not used to, um, you know, being just settle down with one person. Maybe they were used to having, you know, a lot of options. They were pick of the litter, so to speak. They were kind of non-committal, flighty in and out. They like to come and go. They didn't really want to, I'm hearing have a leash around their neck. So maybe they've someone has said that, like, I feel like I got a leash around my neck or they felt like they were just kind of, you know, stuck. And, you know, maybe that's one of the things that led to the demise because I was picking up, you know, that someone was um, entangled in some sort of third party. But now it's like they're having an ego death where all of those things that they once thought they wanted Wanted is now like it's the reality of it is just like nah I actually uh, need to be settled down I need to have something more stable or more grounded so that's why this is wrapping up this cycle of of um, you know childishness it's almost childish to think like that because uh, you're not going to be young forever you know it can be you know when you're young yes you want to you want to have uh, experiences you want to explore you want to know because that's the only way you can really figure out what it is you like you don't want to settle down as soon as you get out of high school and then you're stuck with the same person you get tired of and then you're trying all over again 20 years later but well whomever this is this is a mature energy I was picking up on and someone could have definitely like abandoned a family rejected a situation to go pursue something else I'm also hearing like midlife crisis so maybe someone was going through some sort of midlife crisis whether it's a masculine or feminine where they thought they wanted to be out there in them streets and then they realized there's nothing out there in them streets but problems headaches and uh you know bills <laughs> you know what I'm talking about like you, you when you out there and you're single you you got us as a masculine a lot is expected from you expected if you take in a and courting a woman they're expecting you to go and you know pay the tab to take them to dinner pay the tab to get them back home or drive them home or you know it's like you know so it, it could be expensive trying to be out there being a player so maybe that's another thing that could have humbled someone even for feminines you know if you're out there dating and you know the, the pick of the litter is very slim out there so you could have got with somebody that was younger and you, you know kind of almost adopted a baby it's like <laughs> you done found somebody that you had to take care of you know like they didn't really have much to offer was in between jobs and you know all they had to offer perhaps was intimacy you know who knows but I feel that there's an end to this foolishness the end to the cycle someone's like nah done I'm done with that you know now it's on to something bigger and better and and what's really dope about this is that like someone took the necessary time to go within you know this is someone being very intentional with their actions being very mature taking responsibility taking accountability and saying nah I I got to go within. I got to work on me because like I said, the, her, the hermit, which is associated
associated with that number nine shows that someone is going within to search the answers. They're not going to their da -dun -da -dun for homeboys and homegirls. You know, they're going within because that's where the answers are. So that's powerful. How they feel about you, 44 environment this came out in the former reading so this is what they feel about you love this is the color green which deals with the heart chakra their heart flutters is what i'm hearing especially with i still love you some of you all know this person this could be someone that you may have dated in your past someone you could have you know gone to school with gone to you know you may have worked with this person a former colleague maybe this is someone you grew up around but i feel that there is some similar you know like some familiarity like this isn't someone that you don't know or maybe this is spirit's way of saying that you know you and this person are on the same page this is definitely someone whose heart is open they're ready to love this is someone that will feel like you are um their wish fulfillment like there's a lot of love here you got a lot of solid colors also with the purple so this person is showing that they're being solid they're being real they're being honest they're being true they're not coming in playing games iffy you know the pride you can see this you know the color red here so you know this is someone that is you know finally going to get to the root cause because they're finally getting rid of the ego and the pride and that ego and that pride like I said is almost like having this false you know um identity it's like a facade that you're operating in and it's really out of fears you know you gotta you gotta get rid of the mask you gotta be your authentic self especially if you want a relationship to sustain itself whether it's a love ship a friendship or or you know a work dynamic you gotta present who you truly are and not wear a mask you know not present a representative so how they feel about you is this 44 that 44 breaks down to eight that always gives me the sense of the star so they may be watching you from a distance seeing you in the spotlight seeing just how much attention that you garner seeing how much you have found that that emotional spiritual equilibrium like you could be seen as someone who is a master manifester a source or someone who has divine knowledge wisdom wise dome like you're just very earthy grounded someone very beautiful someone who has absolute Absolutely, been a conduit of change perhaps even in their life maybe you have sparked this person um, to want to change you've inspired this person to want to mature to want to grow because remember we had the 12 and that shows someone is looking at you you know from a different perspective or someone seeing something from a different perspective and I feel like with you with all this green you know and this is how they feel about you is definitely showing there's love there and remember we just had 702 saying I still love you and the four deals with the heart chakra the four is also that divine masculine so the four is also given the four of cups shoulda coulda woulda or feeling like you've missed an opportunity but this is also saying with the eight that I'm getting is that they are trying to you know assert themselves strengthen themselves try to plan prepare strategize a way to take action and this may shock you this may be surprising this may be someone coming in abruptly unexpectedly surprisingly you know but this is definitely something uh that's in your surroundings something that's very close it's close to coming into fruition um we have and peoples this is called I can't stay Stand the rain you know and so this is someone who's really perhaps they've been shedding a lot of tears or someone who's just feels like you know because we had another song um i saw you and him walking in the rain now you got somebody saying i can't stand the rain so maybe someone is having like you know maybe a lot of remorse for you know the decisions that they've made um with i can't stand the rain i just feel like maybe someone is just you know maybe the memories of uh, just taking onus for what they may have done may just put a nasty taste in their mouth like i can't stand the rain i can't stand maybe that's something some of you literally saw someone in the rain you may have saw someone walking in the rain or maybe the rain is just you know in in an um, analogy for just, you know, the pain, the tears, the, you know, um, you know, the tears that someone may have shed, um, doing part to the situation, uh, meeting its demise. Um, but you could also be dealing with someone whose name, uh, could also be, um, you know, and or Peebles, uh, first, middle or last, but yeah, uh, that's what I'm getting, you know, cause the rain is our element. It's water. Uh, it is about cleansing as well and healing, um, recharging your batteries. Uh, but I also get a sense of tears, someone crying, someone, you know, like I can't stand crying about the situation. I just feel remorse. I feel regret, you know, heavy regret burdens on someone, you know, um, we have the 67 still on the bottom of the deck. We are about to pull the card for what's hidden. Let me finish the shuffle and then cut the deck because those cards chose themselves. Spirit chose those cards, I should say. So divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. What messages you have for my beloved 
Scorpios, let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. What's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection spirit. And cut the deck. My nose is itching. If you are new here, whenever my nose gets to tingling, I feel like that spirit saying I am on the nose because that's just one of the sensations I get when I start like channeling. Bottom of the deck, this is what's hidden is you have six love beloveds. So someone is definitely going to come in and say exactly what 702 was singing. I still love you, boo. And this is someone that you know, you know, this lovers is, it could be, you know, someone that you are destined to be with. The lovers are like a very, um, you know, divine connection, spiritual connection. Uh, this could also speak to someone from a past life. Maybe this person will feel like someone you know from a former life. That's how much you will have in common with this person. That's how strong your chemistry and synergy will feel. That's how much you and this person will have in common. That's how much you and this person will complete one another's sentences. You know, that's the that's how much this person and you and you, you both will speak each other's love language. It's, it's just like, it, I can go on. It's like, that's that type of energy. I definitely feel that there's someone going to express that their love, their love for you because that blue deals with the throat chakra as well. Perhaps they will express it not through their words, but through their actions as well. You know, this is someone that's taking action, taking charge. Um, this is someone that is definitely going to become like a husband because still the six deals with the home, you know, the hearth, you know. Uh, so this is someone that wants to build, cultivate, nourish, you know, um, really, you know, um, really be a support system, really be, you know, that, that devotee, you know, someone very devoted, someone very admirable, someone that admires you. This is beautiful energy. You know, I definitely get a sense of there being, um, a lot of thoughts, you know, maybe someone is, is either dreaming of you. Lucid dreams could be taking place. Maybe there's daydreams. Maybe there's just someone communicating with you, uh, telepathically perhaps, or intuitively, and you can feel it and sense it as well. You know, maybe this is something that you may have prayed for. Or this could be an answer to a prayer, or this could be, you know, a wish that's being fulfilled, as I so said, which is going to make you very happy. But I see a lot of solid cards, and that just shows that this is something very stable. This is something that's very grounded, you know, like it's 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 grounded on on principle, on love, on on you know all of those elements that you look for in a mate. Like it's it's a very solid foundation that you and this person will cultivate. Um, because like I said, when that tower falls, you have to ensure moving forward, you're going to rebuild on a solid foundation. And that foundation has to be, you know, the trust and the love that you and this new person or this person period that you're attracting, um, those, those are the principles that you all agree upon. So this is beautiful with this love. I feel someone is coming in. They could also be like moving. You could be moving, relocating with this person or moving into a home with this person. We have, um, we have kill a priest and this is called grandmother's land. So speaking of moving, so maybe you'll be relocating to a place where your, you know, your, uh, ancestors lineage is from your grand grandmother, uh, where, you know, say for instance, if your family is, you know, your family roots are in like Florida, you know, in Rosewood, maybe you're going to build property in Rosewood, or maybe if someone's in, you know, South Carolina, uh, maybe someone is from Africa, maybe someone is from Australia, China, you know, maybe going back to India and planting seeds there and, and building, you know, property there. But I feel home, you know, cause it says grandmother's land and I was picking up like, you know, building a home with someone, you know, so that I'm just getting someone like going back to their roots. You know, this could be like going back to your roots, going back to your, your lineage, you know, that's interesting. All right. So we have six here. So you got six, six, six healing. So double number yet again, this is you and your person mirroring one another. A lot of healing has been taking place, not only on your part, Scorpios, but whomever you're attracting has also been healing. So you're not attracting a problem. You're not attracting someone you're going to have to, you know, kind of, kind of take care of and cater to. This is someone who's been doing their work as well. You know, with this healing, there's still some healing going on. Uh, perhaps that's why, you know, the completion, completion card is here because someone is wrapping up a cycle of like, you know, healing. 
um, you know, karmic cycles. You have to really heal from them. Uh, there goes that new beginning that I was picking up on as well. You know, and this 66, that 12, that's the 12. Remember, we started the reading with 12. So, you know, this is what someone is doing. You know, as they're healing, they're also being forced to assess things, analyze things. You know, you have nothing but time to ponder, you know, nothing but time to reflect while you're sitting upside down. And, that, and being upside down gives you a completely different vantage point, a completely different perspective. You're able to not only see things from your perspective, but now now spirit is forcing you to look at things from someone else's perspective to walk in someone else's shoes perhaps so that's why the healing now is taking place because whoever this was that was in hangman status is now starting to take onus accountability is starting to see perhaps even the part they played you know if someone was proud and egotistical hard-headed stubborn now that's how the pride can be put to side or that's how the ego can be deaded is by you know growing through this process we have um alicia keys unthinkable i'm ready so now someone is ready to take leap take action like i said 66 12 that's three that's the three of wands also to me so someone is ready to take leap take action you know take that leap of faith you know ready to take you know those steps towards communicating expressing something but they're sending you those intuitive messages downloads they're sending you little subtle hints you know this could be someone who's equally spiritual psychic in tune so they know how to you know maybe this is someone that constantly thinks of you and when you're constantly in someone's mind you start picking up on that it's like radio waves it's like you're going to start picking up on the frequency of that information and that could be what's happening as well especially with 666 you know this is energy that is definitely saying there's a lot of transmissions and a lot of communication being transmitted back and forth. Uh, the 666 breaks down to 18. That's nine. That's the same person that's finally wrapping up a cycle here as well. So they're finally going to take action. Um, like I said, the three plan and prepare strategize the three of wands. This is someone anticipating a positive outcome because I do feel like now they're solid. I do feel like now that, you know, when you take onus and accountability, um, that means that that that's grounds for growth. That's grounds for maturation and they're ready. You know, you could be dealing with someone named Alicia be dealing with some someone who's from um, New York. Hell's Kitchen is where Alicia Keys is from. So what is the outcome for my beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection spirit. So those are the messages. These are all face down. I'm going to put them back in. Oh, I put them in upside down. I just want to show you what flew out. Got rebirth. So someone definitely went through a transformation. They've grown spiritually, mentally, emotionally, definitely on a, a higher frequency now because that 16 breaks down to seven, which is the crown chakra. That's also someone ready to take action. Someone that wants to rekindle or spark a new relationship. We also have nature. So this could be someone that you feel you have a very, you know, mutual, um, attraction with this person the connection will be a la natural they'll feel down to earth or you'll feel like this connection is very grounded in some aspect i definitely get a sense some of you could be born in 1974 uh but this is someone who could be one half of that twin flame that 11 11 energy this is someone that's ready to take action um you also have this uh relationship change so someone is ready like like alicia keys is saying unthinkable like if you ask me, I'm ready. That's the name of the, you know, that's the lyrics, unthinkable. So this person is definitely, they're ready and prepared to um, take action. We got 11-11 here. Just notice that. So 11-11, I was saying the 74 was one half of 11 and then bam, there goes the other 11. So this is someone that does see you like, you know, wifey material, hubby material, yin yang, yin to the yang, yang to the yin, cosmic companion, however you want to say it. But this is definitely a sacred bond. And there is a very natural connection. I was picking up synergy and chemistry as well. This is also a spiritual bond connection. So like I said, this is something that perhaps your angels and ancestors are conspiring behind the scenes to bring you into union with this person. And then we also have teaching and learning. So what did I say about somebody kind of observing? you from a distance and learning from you. You are like a teacher. You're like someone that they look up to, perhaps the things that they've seen you grow through and the way that you've manifested change in your life or healed or emerged someone different has inspired them. They're looking at you from a different perspective and they're finally seeing you in the light that you've always exuded, but they were just too busy, too proud, too stubborn to admit you know, to said feelings. So what flew out is you have 55, another double number. That's adventure. So you're about to be on an adventurous ride. I feel like a lot of y'all have not had a lot of excitement in your life. And I feel like spirit is telling you, 
Go out there, be bold, be risky, be daring, have fun, and don't stop till you can't get enough. Like just enjoy the ride, beloveds, because many of you have been without this excitement, without this joy, you know, and I feel like spirit wants you to be more spontaneous moving forward. I feel someone's going to trigger that spontaneity as well. Uh, whoever this is, is someone that's ready to like, just go out there. They're going to just be daring. They're going to be adventurous. They're going to make you do things to get you out of your comfort zone. You know, you could be very routine and oh I don't want to do that and they're going to get you out of that you're going to be just trying stuff you know new things and it's going to you're going to find new things you enjoy doing you know when you're stuck in your 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 own way you know it's like you you miss out on things but when you get somebody that can encourage you to just have fun let go let loose it's like you you don't realize how many things how much life you was missing out on because you was just so stuck and rigid so whoever this is is going to like encourage you know that fun side of you they're going to bring out that that youthfulness in you they're gonna bring out the laughter in you again it's just a beautiful energy i'm picking up and we have this number four perseverance so you got four 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 here some of you all are definitely being guided by your angels your spirit team they are guiding and protecting and as i said conspiring behind the scenes to bring it in the right one the, the wish fulfillment you know this four 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 some of y'all could be seeing four 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 you know a lot of people associate six 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 with the devil and the last days and we have six protons six neutrons six electrons so this is just saying that this is like to me healthy love this is like you know the home and the hearth this is like you know taking care of your vessel you know your vessel could be your body but it could also be symbolic of the home you know the home now uh feeling like a home you know the foundation of that home is feeling you know that that sense of security so perhaps coming into union with someone that could become your partner in in in, in life you know become that that wife or that husband um, is, is going to make your home feel more like a home. So this is beautiful. But with this perseverance, that's why this adventure is here because you have had to persevere and grow through a lot. And now you're going to be taken on this beautiful an amazing ride and whomever's coming in is someone that has been learning from you you could have been the teacher and the student at the same time or perhaps you have been learning from someone that you're observing from a distance and you know they are ready and prepared for you as well but this is beautiful because this 57 is also that same 12 so there is the you know this energy of a secret admirer or someone that has just been like kind of like you know kind of hiding in the shadows or someone hidden in plain sight as well I'm hearing like this is someone that's literally like right in your face because remember we have the um environment card here so this is someone I do feel in your environment someone you could be bumping into every single day and you don't even have a clue or someone that you may know you just may have already planted seeds and roots and look what's on the bottom of the energy oracle deck so we have the number 22 so there is a divine masculine that's reduces to four and this is also a double number so you both have divine knowledge and wisdom remember we saw 77 spirituality card so whenever I see those double numbers you and this person matching each other's energy and what you're matching is you're the yin to their yang they're the, you're the yin yang to your yin this is definitely like a spirit spiritual or part, uh, partnership. This is someone that you will have that harmony and that synergy that I was picking up on. But more importantly, that love, you know, this is dual energy. The six, the lovers, it's a masculine and feminine energy represented on that card and it's overseen by an angelic presence. But the, the two of you represent love. Um, the two of you are both balanced, you know, twos represent balance. So not only are you balanced emotionally, spiritually, uh, you know, mind, body, and soul, but the person you're also, uh, calling in is also balanced. That means you both have mastered both your masculine and feminine principles and you're coming into union that eight, there we go. 17. Remember we had the eight, someone's ready to take action. They could be planning and preparing, strategizing. This is also a very yin yang type of energy with the black and the white horse. So this is showing also someone trying to find balance to take action or trying to assert themselves to take some sort of action to move in a certain direction. I feel there has been someone who's been learning to appreciate and value you, someone that may have taken you for granted. You got 15 and 15 
deals with the devil. So this could be someone that was like always trying to get more than they were willing to put in. Um, this is someone that didn't take action. You can see, you know, both of the horses aren't really running at the same speed. This horse is kind of getting ready to gallop along, but it's like, so this is like, you were never on the same page. Perhaps someone could have took it, taken you for granted, or maybe someone wanted you to believe you weren't as worthy or you weren't as good enough or something to that degree. Cause the devil is very deceptive. The devil speaks with a forked tongue. The the devil never appreciates what you do. There was definitely hostility that was building. Someone could have been very, very vile, very um, just nasty with their words, just say things to hurt feelings. And that's usually what pride and ego does. You know, pride and ego have you saying things and act in a certain way um, out of just, you know, pure ignorance. Um, we have Dwelly and Jay Dilla and Brandy, and this is called Go Ladies. So yeah, someone was definitely just going to the ladies, constantly had options, especially with adjacent possibilities, just constantly having options 24, six, they was just all over the place. I'm definitely getting a sense of like, you know, someone who's just constantly, you know, ripping and running, um, giving the attention to everyone but you, uh, you know, just go ladies, just always at the club partying, always in somebody's face. And now it's like, oops, you know, now they've really have something they want to say, you know, perhaps this is someone that will, you know, express or communicate um, how much joy that you uh, bring in their life. Or maybe there's just some exciting news, something news coming in, a wish fulfillment, a blessing. Um, you're definitely going to feel very happy um, and revitalized is what I'm getting. So let's clarify these messages, beloveds, and we're going to wrap it up. And I just saw a 4444, four, 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 so your angels are definitely here. So this card wants to choose itself, and I am going to let it. So action, someone will be taking action, because why? they gotten rid of the pride. You know, when you get rid of the pride and the ego, you know, and you take off the mask, now you can take action. You know, like I said, they could still be a little, like, you know, trying to get it together. You know, that's what the planning and preparing and strategizing is all about. Um, you know, trying to muster up the strength, uh, but they are looking at things from a different perspective now and they feel this sense of urgency, especially with, um, go ladies. It's like that go is sticking out. Like now they're ready to, to go, to take the leap, to say what they need to say, because I feel like with that, that hawk in the sky there, you see that I feel like they are seeing things from a different perspective, which has led, you know, to this, this death of this ego or to them, you know, putting their pride to the side. Um, to take action, you know, that 17 reduces to eight. That's an action oriented card, hence the name. So they're ready to take action because, you know, they've seen something, you know, they finally saw something because they, they have a bird's eye view and that's the communication, you know, so this 39 that also breaks down to 12. So now they're ready to communicate because whatever they were observing, they now realize, like I said, you know, the role that they may have played or, you know, how proud and egotistical they were behaving or stubborn they were acting or hard headed, you know, a hard head makes a soft ass. And this person is now finally finding their voice. This is the throat chakra that I mentioned several times. So now that's what's leading to the completion of a cycle is someone is now ready to, and prepared to express something that they've been bottling up perhaps uh, out of pride, out of ego. Um, so they're going to go, they're going to take the leap. So why is this nine completion here for my beloved Scorpios for who or what they're attracting to them? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection, beautiful spirit. Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. So we have adjacent possibilities. So this person now is realizing that they have to make the right decision. You know, this 24, they're going to use their intuition because perhaps they have a lot of options. They have a lot of people perhaps biting for their attention, you know, and so they're going to trust their intuition. That 624 deals with the first eye, you know, and they're also going to choose love. That six also is associated with the lovers. And I feel whatever direction they choose to move in, they're going to move in a direction where there's no chaos, you know, because when you think of the six, I always see the six of swords as well, where someone's leaving all of the nonsense, the drama, you know, they're leaving all of that toxicity behind to go and find peace, you know, 
they're going away. They're going. It says go ladies. So they, they, they may tell the ladies that they're dealing with, like, look, I'm done. You know, I'm, 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 I, I want to be single for a moment. You know, go away. Like, I'm hearing go away, ladies. Hearing somebody like, shoo, get away. You know, 47, 47 on the clock. So remember, we saw that 11, 11. So this can be some of you all, your twin flame. I see here, you're also attracting wealth. It says daughter value. So you, you definitely have uh, some abundance and some prosperity and expansion and yes answers and wish fulfillments coming monetarily i feel like spirit is opening up the doors to possibilities you know and there are infinite possibilities out here and with the thinking man what did i say about someone thinking planning preparing strategizing this is who or what you're attracting to you so you are attracting someone who is thinking about how to take action or what to say or the appropriate way to say it and he's sitting underneath these pillars you know, in these archways. So this is also someone I feel angels are sending to you because he has feathers in his hat, you know? So I do feel like this is someone's spirit is assigning you or someone that is being aligned. You're being aligned with this person. This is someone being, you know, that has been initiated. Whenever you see these archways, that speaks to initiation. Someone has had some sort of rites of passage. That's powerful. That's beautiful. And you're, you're, this is your karma. You know, contracts, some of you all are going to be signing some new contracts. Some of you all are definitely going to be signing marriage contracts. You know, some of you all are definitely getting things handled out, uh, handled for you, pardon me, fairly and justly. Things will work out for you fairly and justly. They're going to work out in your favor. Things are going to be balanced out. I feel like Mama Ma'at, she has everyone's address and the seeds that you've sowed in the past. They are going to flourish. They're going to harvest for you. You're going to have lucrative business dealings. And we have the most beautiful girl in the world playing by Prince. This is how someone feels about you. What did I say about heart fluttering? You know, remember we had 702 saying, I still love you. Now we have Prince saying the most beautiful girl in the world. If you're masculine, you are the most beautiful thing this person has set their eyes on. And this is a part of your karma. And I feel like this is saying that this is a truth that's going to come to light. That number six deals with you know the uh, first eye but it also deals with someone who um you know has love because that's the lovers in traditional tarot and i feel like you know because this is double numbers the fours deal with the heart chakra that someone will confess this to you because the that um uh, archangel gabriel the throat chakra card came out so someone may confess this to you because this you know the contract definitely shows you know that uh you know, someone wants to, you know, balance things out or say something, you know, that, that they've been holding back, you know, express the truth. We have the magician. Someone could be manifesting you, as I said, because remember that number 19, that one putting aside the pride and realizing that you can channel or harness that energy from spirit to manifest what you desire. And that's what they're doing They, You know, he's balancing the fire and the water. You know, that's the passion and then that's the emotion. So this is someone that wants to bring that balance of both. They have this fire, this desire. And then we have the angel of love here. So your angels, like I said, are conspiring behind the scenes. My nose is itching like crazy. Someone will definitely come in like a prince or a knight in shining armor. Someone that is definitely like very intentional. You know, like I said, they're going to show you with their actions, not just their words, but they will also express these feelings. So why is this 44 environment here? Thank you, spirit. We have Archangel Mikael. I love to see Archangel Mikael show up in a reading because as I said, protected protected union we saw 4444 four, four earlier and so that shows your angels are protecting you are protecting this union more importantly i feel like this is a sacred partnership we saw the spirituality card we saw spiritual partnership so this shows me that this is a sacred bond we got the six lovers and i was breaking down how the lovers has an angel an angelic presence overseeing it which means they're conspiring behind the scenes to bring the two of you in union i just saw 51 51 that's 66 six, that's 12 someone is seeing you now in your your true light whether you're masculine or feminine and this is bringing hostilities jealousy envy people are upset perhaps someone that you used to be with is upset this is someone that is definitely jealous envious this is someone that you could have cut off left alone left behind this is eight and eight sixteen that's seven so this is a deceitful person you know, because I'm thinking of the seven of swords with this eight and eight, that's 16, that's seven. So I'm thinking of like the seven of swords, like someone that's going to be very deceitful. Maybe someone trying to throw you off 
um, or out of equilibrium. Someone may be trying to come in because they see you on this, this, uh, you know, this rise and they're trying to like take you down. They're trying to snuff you out or trying to block a blissing or just trying to distract you. This is some, you know, petty Murphy, petty LaBelle type of energy. This is some deducted on type of energy. And you just got to like, ig this, this nonsense. You don't even respond to that with hostilities. That's like nonsense. That's why Archangel Mikael is here protecting you. So just be mindful because you got a lot of jealousy around y'all. Y'all have been on this constant elevation or this constant ascension, you know, and it's like you've been minding your business and healing, minding your business and growing, minding your business and grinding, minding your business and building. Like that's what you've been doing. And people have been minding your business whilst you've done all of that. And that makes them jealous and envious for no damn reason other than they ain't doing nothing themselves. So all they got is time to watch what you're doing, you know, but you are protected and you're protected, like I said, because you've been righteous, you've been just, you've been doing the right things. That justice card has been showing up a lot in your readings. And I feel like it's because your scales are going to be balanced, like things are going to be balanced out in your life. What you've been through is not what you're about to like. like you, you're not going to look like what you've been through in a minute. I feel like you don't look like what you've been through. That's why perseverance is here on the outcome, because you have persevered through a lot. You persevere through a lot, beloved. This is powerful. And we have Dion Warwick and Luther Vandross. This is called, How Many Times uh, Can We Say Goodbye? You know, so this could be a karmic trying to come back to distract you. Because that is the number eight. And eight deals with karma as well. So this could be a karmic trying to come back, distract you, antagonize you. Because they see you on this, like I said, this upswing. They see things getting in, uh, improving. And so now they want to come back, distract you, and have you back on the crazy train. And so how many times I got to tell your ass two fingers, beloved? How many times I got to say we done done fin, beloved? That's like what Dion Warwick and Luther Vandross is saying. You know, it's like how many times we got to play this game? That's why Archangel Mikael is like, he's here ready to, you know, to utilize this sword to cut that yoke, that spell, whatever this person could be trying to cook up. So this is powerful. I love it. Why well, is six love here for what's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection, my beloved angels. Thank you, spirit. We're going to wrap this up. We got this healer of the ages. This is exactly what you are. Every great healer has to first heal themselves. There's another archway. So you have definitely been anointed. You've been called. You've been chosen, you know, and that's why your angel has been showing up a lot too, because when you are a chosen one, you're protected. You got the armor of protection on you, that fiery, un, you know, impenetrable wall of protection around you. And that's beautiful. So we have storm warning. So this is a storm warning, and I feel like it has to do with this person trying to blow up and kick up some nonsense, some dust, you know? So this is a warning. This is someone you already just, you know, cut off, someone you already left in the past because this is already a 10, you know? And spirit is like, you know, keep it, keep yourself in harmony, keep yourself in balance because that, that lovers, remember the masculine feminine, that's about using logic. So don't allow someone to get you in your emotions, have you angry, frustrated, stay balanced, beloved, stay grounded like a tree. You heard? <laughs> walk away. See that? You walking away. This is why this person's kicking up dust. Is this someone you've already, you know, you're either in the process of walking away or someone is in the process of walking away from someone and, they, and someone's trying to argue. If you already made up your mind, you're leaving. You ain't even trying to hear all that nonsense. It's like, man, talk to, talk to, you know, pardon my back. You know what I'm talking about? Like, pardon my back. Don't, don't, don't respond. Like you, you can see this. She's looking like, what? What you, What? <laughs> like it's like don't even respond because that's what they want you know once they get you to respond you know whoever angers you controls you and that's what they're trying to do and that's why they're singing like here you know uh how many times we got to say goodbye so this is the same person coming back trying to have the same goddamn argument you've been having for 10 years you know 10 or 9 years you just been having the same stupid ass argument confrontation it's because this person is miserable like i said i was getting the seven of swords because you have this eight and then you got this eight that's 16 that's seven and i was picking up devil energy as well earlier you know so you just got to be mindful next we have the sun see that this is what spirit is telling you this is why this person's miserable because you're looking good you're happy you're stronger now you're in your power now and they see that good things are coming. You got blessings. You're being blessed. You're being like rewarded constantly. You're in the spotlight. People are just all around you. You just have this love. See that? This is your karma. And they're going to receive theirs. So that's why spirit is like, ig the ignorance. Don't get caught up in the rapture. Because this can lead you down that rabbit hole where you sitting there arguing with fools and people on the outside ain't going to know who's who. So remain grounded like a tree, like I said. 
you are the healer of the ages. This is the number 51, that's six. So this is about balance. You know, this is also about knowing who you are, you know, using your intuition. That's why the crown is glowing because that's what you have to utilize. Intuition, discernment, got to tap into your God frequency. You got to know when somebody playing with you, you ain't, you grown, you don't play. <laughs> you ain't, you ain't playing. We ain't got time to play. People that want to play with you and cause and stir up drama and nonsense for no reason is just like they, they have nothing better to do, beloveds. You know, you out here trying to save lives and they out here trying to waste time. You ain't got you on two different. You, you know what I'm saying? You two different classes of people out here at this point. Yo, all right. So let's see. Why is this 55 adventure and this four perseverance here for the outcome? And then we're going to wrap it up. Why is this 55 adventure and this number four perseverance here for my beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. Spirit. See, now they want to be mute. Thank you, Spirit, as soon as I said that. Look at this. This is what they're trying to do. Bind you. Tie you. Strategizing, planning, preparing, preparing, strategizing. See that? So this is the, 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 the energy. See that? And this is what spirit is telling you. You, you got to be on your toes. You know, you got to persevere through all of this with this all tied up. This is what this nonsense does to you. You know, this is the mind uckery. This is the confusion. She wearing this big ass headdress because that's all the confusion sitting underneath that top hat or whatever that is. This is all confusion and craziness and drama and negativity. This is someone talking a hole in her head. 23 is the throat chakra. This is about being wise enough not to get caught in this drama, in this nonsense, strategize, be wiser. 21 is the world card. You've already, you have already, you have already completed a cycle. Don't allow someone to have you repeating things you've already learned because the lesson is going to repeat itself over and over and over until you learn it. And the way you prove that you've learned it is by not falling into the same traps you fell in before. So whoever this is coming in with this hostility, your angels are leaving you the little nuggets of information telling you what you need to do. And you need to plan, prepare, strategize. Like I said earlier, don't react. Don't be reactive. Like don't respond to people when they come in around with negative energy. Damn, I got a hangnail and that hurts. Good Lord. You know, I'm thinking, I don't know how that just be just popping up, but yeah, you know, so don't just allow people, you know, to, to like pull and string you along. Like, nah, stay grounded like a tree. Let me get one more message. Cause I know this is not how this is going to end. So why is this 55 adventure for perseverance 23? It does show you persevere past this nonsense, you know, but I just want one more message. Okay. Thank you, spirit. Bottom of the deck, we have caring connection. Someone's just trying to throw a monkey wrench in what they see you about to, um, you're coming into. Because this four is the vibration of 1111 as well. And remember, we saw that 1111. That 1111 also breaks down to four. So that's the heart chakra. So someone is really trying to have you like stuck on them. So as to distract you from this, you know. Somebody's very jealous of what you have coming in. And look, what did I say about using your intuition, trusting the most high to guide you in the right direction? So seventh chakra is your crown. So that's what they're reminding you to do. Don't be stuck in your head, you know, where the devil wants you to be like worrying, all anxious, ruminating and pining over things, you know, or having somebody talking you in circles and having you arguing with their crazy ass. It's like they telling you to ascend, use your intuition and see what's going on. See what they are trying to do. You know, this is your angels pulling through for you. You don't had Archangel Mikael show up. You had the angel of love show up. You have the contract card, which shows that you are, you know, in harmony. Don't let anyone, you know, rock your boat. But this is a beautiful reading because it just shows that like you have the answers. You already know what you need to do, but you do have someone that's trying to push your buttons. I feel like you got somebody jealous around you. This could be an ex person, you know, that you've dealt with. This is definitely someone that's kind of like, you know, they, it's almost like they just kind of like trying to come around to antagonize, you know, because they see what you're, they see something. You know, they see something improving or they see something coming in. Like you, like I said, you like, you could just be on this constant rise growing and, you know, whether y'all departed or, you know, broke up on bad terms. And it's like, they look around and you already done got yourself a crib, got yourself a car. You done moved into a whole new environment. Like you doing your thing and here they ass come again, trying to get you distracted, have you stuck on stupid. It's like a soul tie that they have with you. And that's why Archangel Mikael was there as well. And that's why he carries the sword. Cause he's could break that yoke, that hex, that spell, whatever this person is that's trying to use, you know, they're trying to use to bind you, 
You know what I'm saying? So just be mindful. You could even have people around you at your job that's jealous because they see that things are flourishing for you. You know what I'm saying? And seeing that you have options out here. And they could just be really trying to just, you know, mind your pockets. You know, they sitting in minding your pockets and ear hustling, hearing people say good things about you and being mad and jealous about it. And it's just like they just trying to bring you nonsense, bring you drama. But you got to rise above it, rise above it. They are not, your, not on your level. Whoever you argue with, whoever you're ang you allow anger you, they will control you. This person knows that. That's why they constantly trying to come in and like, you know, throw you know remember the rain i kept hearing the rain with the rain i'm getting rain on your parade and and here you are with the sun you know so when the sun is shining in your life here they come trying to bring the clouds bring the drama and spirit is like remain grounded like a tree stay back you know stay stay balanced don't let anybody ruffle your feathers but this is your reading beloveds Thank you so much for tuning in and tapping in. I hope that the messages resonated for you. If you found that it did, please like, share, subscribe. If you are interested in booking a spiritual consultation with me, check the uh, description box below and it'll take you over to my Etsy shop. Peruse as you will. Um, and thank you so much for tuning in and tapping in. If you are new, I hope my messages resonated for you. Hope the energy resonates for you. And I hope you all are enjoying the daily reads. I'm trying to do them daily. I might miss a day here and there because life be lifing. Um, but I definitely am going to start doing daily reads for you all. But um, I appreciate you all, especially my A1s, day ones. Thank you so much for always showing love. Love is love is love to you all. To all of the newbies, thank you so much for tuning in and tapping in. Till next time, I send a big fat ashe, yo. Peace.